According to a new report from Deadline, 20th Century Fox is developing Die Hard 6, which would most likely take place in 1979 as well in the present day. The report claims that the film would be an origin story for John McClane and would draw from the Boom Studios comic book series Die Hard Year One, which is set in the 70s. Deadline says that Len Wiseman, who helmed 2007's Live Live Free or Die Hard, will likely direct Die Hard 6. John, buy or sell this new idea for Die Hard 6. Huge buy. I'm lying. Huge <laughs> sell. No, nothing about this sounds good. I am intrigued by a Die Hard 6, but I do not like the premise of this. I don't want to go back and see John McClane in 1979 see an origin story. You know what the origin story was? In that tower on Christmas. That was the origin story. I don't need another origin story. And look, I, I don't know what Len Wiseman... But I have come to a point where I'm not a fan. Plus, you already had a kick at the Die Hard can, and you kicked it down the sewer. I mean, you, you just you botched it. So, I, nah, there's nothing to me that appeals about this. So for me, it's a sell, Christian. I couldn't sell anything harder. I, 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 I sell hard. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't understand it. And what I, I actually don't sell a Die Hard Six because what I had heard me a while too. ago, and I don't know why they scrapped this. If it was just a rumor, it was the best rumor I had heard is that John McClane goes to Japan in a celebration of the Nakatomi uh, anniversary and everything, and it happens again. That would make there would be a reason why someone would do that again, why terrorists would would attack that again, and then he happens to be there again. That's the story. The wrong guy, wrong guy in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's what John McClane was. I don't want to see some new guy in 1979. This isn't the Indiana Jones thing that we were talking about yesterday. There's no because. Because the difference in Indiana Jones, they're, they're three for four in Indiana Jones. Die Hard is, some can argue, three for five or two for five, depending on, on how you like the other movies. But they have to come back. John McClane, Bruce Willis has to prove that he's John McClane again. He hasn't been. He's been Bruce Willis in the last two movies. I know some people liked uh, the, the last Len Weissman movie, actually. Some people did enjoy that movie. I didn't. I thought that they that's when they started to jump the shark. When he's, Which was the last Len Weissman movie? The, it wasn't Live those, Free or Die Hard. It wasn't oh, the no. last oh, one. Oh, yeah, it was no, Die no, Hard no, 4. Yeah, no, the, yeah, the, no, the, la was, the last was one bad. was... Uh, whoever, who, who cares? He's, he's, <laughs> working at, he's working at a bagel store right now. Um, but, <laughs> they, but as far as this movie goes, uh, th this is a bad move. We don't need to see a guy because there's two things that are going to happen here. One is if Bruce Willis is again, is he John McClane? That's what you're going to be watching the whole movie. Then who the hell is this new guy and why is he trying to do a Bruce Willis impression? We don't need that right now. We need John McClane back. This is, and Len Weissman is not the guy. He's not the guy. He, 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 we need a guy that is just that you could do. And again, I hate to throw his name out there because I throw it all the time, but I think Matthew Vaughn would be an interesting choice for a Die Hard movie. Um, I think the, sure, yes. the, the director of, um, of The Raid would be an interesting uh, choice for a Die Hard movie, like that raw, gritty feel that he had, and that—that's what I want to see from Die Hard again. And I want and go back to Nakatomi. That's the—that's the story. You know, it's funny. I had heard uh, another different rumor about Die Hard Six, where they worked. The reports that I were reading, uh, this is going back months, but that they were going to bring back Samuel Jackson as Zeus. Yeah, I heard that too. I yeah. love their pairing. Uh, as that, and you know what? If this happens, if this happens, this would be the fourth film that Bruce Willis will be in a movie starring alongside somebody <laughs> else playing a younger version of him. All right, Looper. He did it in Looper. He did it in The Kid. He did it in 12 Monkeys. Right. Now he'll do it again in this. He's like cornering the market mm. on being in a movie with somebody else playing a younger you. Anyway, what do you think, Mark? I just All the excitement from King Kong versus Godzilla just goes <laughs> right out the window. This is such a horrifically stupid idea. For a diehard movie, he became John McClane. And he didn't have his shoes on in the first movie, you know? <laughs> he was a cop in New York, and he had a six-month backlog on scumbags. That's why, are we just going to get him and Holly fighting? Is that what the backstory is going to be? Like, who cares about seeing his rookie year on the force? We know from the lore of the movies that not a lot of stuff went down. He was a normal cop. That's why the diehard movie was so good in the first place. It's because he was just an average Joe. It was like Mark or John or Christian or Ashley stuck in a building against terrorists. What are you going to do? I don't know. I've never been in this situation before. Now we're going to throw him in a, some movie that has to be compelling enough for two hours where we want to see this guy in an, in an action setting? I am so pissed off right now. It's I'm on Team Gruber. You know what? <laughs> I wish Hans had gotten him at the end I of know, Die where's, Hard. Where's the Gruber <laughs> prequel? Let me see a Hans Gruber prequel. Oh, Give no, me a Gruber prequel. Be see the two Gruber brothers. That's yeah, it. That's, that's it. it. A Gruber brothers. That's it. I'm prequel. serious. People, fans should really voice out about this and say <laughs> no on this prequel. It's, it's a terrible idea and it, like Mark said, it diminishes what the first Die Hard was all about 
I'm telling you, put him back in Nakatomi because the only reason I wouldn't want to see Sam Jackson too because I love that third movie. But to me, that was more of a Lethal Weapon movie because for me, what John McClane always was was how does he survive by himself? How does he get out of this situation? That's what I want to see again, and it would be amazing to see that in Japan. But that's what Die Hard with a Vengeance elevated too because he was still John McClane in that. Sure. He was still John Absolutely. McClane trying to figure out and the fact that you had a Gruber in that movie. If you could throw some sort of war from the past Die Hard into Die Hard 6, like the Nakatomi Tommy thing, they're celebrating the anniversary of when he saved him in the first place and terrorists come attack him again. Maybe Reginald Bell Johnson is hanging out there. Maybe Argyle is his limo driver. Oh, like, great. bring back some of the war, but this is such a ridiculously stupid idea that now my voice is going to hurt more. Let Shane Black write it. You're looking for a writer.